Welcome to the Barbados Today News Brief for Wednesday, November 7th. I'm Kimberly Cummins and here are some of the main stories in this publication. The latest set of shootings between two groups in the New Orleans area has left three men nursing gunshot injuries. This story continues on page 3. Our back page has more on a new web resource started with a focus to improve mathematics not only in Barbados but as well the region. The management and disposal of chemicals in Barbados is a source of major concern. This on pages 6 and 7. Barbadians increased technological savvy has helped them to guard against electronic identity theft. Read page 5 for what else an expert had to see. On pages 26 and 27, the St. Michael Parish Ambassador's mean business. In Jamaica, a principal says that authorities have a new battle on their hands, a battle of the G culture, a subculture of gangs, guns, and ganja. While in Antigua, a 14-year-old is in ICU fighting for his life with a bullet lodged in his lower back after he was shot by another team. These are more Caribbean stories on pages 30 and 31. In sports, Barbados football is going to Chelsea Way. See page 43 for details. West Indies only tour match in Bangladesh before the first test has been cut from three days to two. Read pages 46 and 47 to find the reason why. And here is where we end tonight on a high. Jamaican reggae artist Bujubanta may be imprisoned, but his calls to legalize it has been heard. Well, at least in Colorado and Washington, which became the first U.S. states to legalize the possession and sale of marijuana for recreational use. This as well as other international stories in the world today on pages 32 and 33. This has been the Barbados Today News Brief. On behalf of videographer Gregory Waldron and Kimberly Cummins, see you next time.